this is the the demonstration farm for the school to teach our children and also the teachers at the same time also participate in this so we have a part of the teachers where the teachers come and do some clearing so that the students just watch and see them they really they encourage them so that they will know that it is a part of education also it's not for those who are not well educated and those who are in the village seen the war, the Nyanya one, and then also the Australian war, and then the peace war. The young people actually who has been displaced, especially the youth now who are the head of the families. But seen they are living in a refugee scheme where there is people are waiting, only this spending on their ration card. That culture of cultivation was lost. And they don't know how to cultivate for themselves or the families. They are only depending on the relief uh, food, item, and all those things. As a Presbyterian church, we find that there is a gap, which is we need really to fill it in the community. Because if the community are not feeding themselves, it means that there is no future. So always we will be depending on emergency support. Most of them, they, they don't know how to farm because during those days, the, the time they have grown up, people were in the walls and they could not be able to farm. People are running up and down. They were not even being trained at that movement. Then the only solution for them to go to run to the other country for for, for in, in a refugees or to go and mine like in, in the other area. In our area they go for mining. In other country like Ethiopia. Yeah. Then they go for mining there. Then they only know how to do mining activity, but they don't know farming. That is what make those young youth uh, not be able to farm. Nowadays, here yeah, actually are not a one tribe who are learning in this school. We have uh, some Denka, we have J, who are also learning from this school. So when we bring people from Murle, we bring people from J, we bring people from Koshipo, and be integrated in this school. These people they will learn peace, how people live together. People also will depend on cultivation, not on cattle only, and also people will be able to live harmony together and live in town. So this actually in, uh, in the future will be one of the center that can bring all those communities in one place. That is the hope, that idea of uh, South Sudan Peace Education Program. That really is uh, uh, something that brings people together.